this is the uniqueness about Real Madrid, being able to compete and winning, being owned by the members, not having a private uh, owner who inject money uh, from outside football industry. Uh, I think this is this is quite uh, quite unique. No? Uh, uh, a club with the pedigree of Real Madrid, more than 120 years of history, is still today owned by by us, by the members. Okay, so uh, so as you know, Real Madrid is a Spanish club, basketball and football club, founded in in 1902, and is still owned by the members. Who today we are slightly above 100,000 okay, uh, members. So every four years, uh, these members, over 100,000 members, elect their representative members, okay, who are going to be the members that represent them in the pre-assembly meetings and the annual general assembly with the current president, club president, and the, and the board of directors, okay? Uh, the president, today, Mr. Perez, Florentino Perez, and the board of directors, uh, are also elected every four years by the members. Okay, so let's say the representative member assembly is kind of the the supreme uh, representative and governing body of the club. No? So as a representative members, we approve the management reports, the budget statement, the balance sheet, the profit and loss account for the current fiscal tax year. We approve the income and expenses budget uh, and project activities. Uh, just to give you an example, no, the new Bernabeu Stadium needs to be approved by us. Uh, last year in the, in the General Assembly, who usually happens end of the year in, in November, uh, we had to approve an extra expenses uh, in order to, to be able to develop the, the project of the pitch leaving the stadium no and coming back no uh, that was not budget at the beginning so all these things would need to be uh, approved by that and, and and really the president and the board if if they don't get the approval of of the numbers uh, next day they need to go to elections they are out of the club no? and i think and the president and the board of course uh, are also members of the club you need to be president of real madrid you need to be this there, there is a prerequisite. So you need to be member of Real Madrid for at least uh, twenty years consecutively, wow. and you need to put. Yeah, and, and but this is the easy one. This mm -hmm. is the easy one. The the difficult one is you need to put in a bank account twenty percent of the current year budget of the club because you are responsible to make a financial hole in the club if you don't manage properly. So that's the really difficult. And also, this is a very good filter to make sure that the people who present themselves for president are used to manage this type of amount of money and they were able to generate this amount of, of money in their own companies. But they need to be uh, members of Ramadi for 20 years uh, consecutively. Mm. We are very lucky because we have, an, and you see Florentino Perez for a very long time there, but every four years needs to be elected by, by us. So if someone else goes uh, and there are people who want to, to be present, but... Uh, uh, at the moment, uh, with, with Florentino uh, doing things as, as he's doing it, uh, 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 is keeping is keeping on going really uh, because it's, it's really challenging. And, and you have examples. No, Barcelona is working, for example, in the same concept as, as us, and we also suffer. Eh? This is not nothing against against Barcelona at all. We we also suffer from these things with previous presidents. Football uh, uh, has arrived to a dimension that in two bad years of management, uh, you create a massive hole and create a crisis in the club financially. And and and, and you look at, a, at a FC Barcelona at the moment and they are really struggling. They are really struggling. Yeah. Uh, so, so and, and to me, this is the uniqueness as well of Real Madrid. Nobody speaks about it. I, I have in, in, in the assemblies I go and I, and I talk about it. No? This is our value, really. This is our massive value, being able uh, to compete with our own resources at the big, highest level in football. I think this is amazing. No? And, and yeah, I, I myself said, I tell this to Florentino. No? We, we need to, to communicate this better. We are missing marketing here because nowadays you only see big investor groups uh, uh, no, coming from other industries, uh, USA, uh, uh, UAE, uh, putting money into, into the European football uh, uh, in clubs that by themselves, they are not sustainable. The salaries they are paying are not sustainable. They are not generating that money by their own. We are doing it. And that's why we need to lead. And, 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 and the example of the new Bernabeu Stadium, some, you know, a, a new trend that all other clubs are following, we do not have other choice than lead this. Because if we don't lead this, we stop being the top of, of the industry. We are not able to pay to pay, to pay pay those salaries because we will not generate them. So our our our, our Bernabeu Stadium, Bernabeu Stadium, for example, is, 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 is 
is is, is our tool also to be able to compete. You know, and and um, for for those reasons, I think Real Madrid is very well managed because we don't have other choice. We are not very well managed as, as an organization. At the end, we are an organization of more than four hundred employees. Uh, we will not get the results we have on the pitch. You no, know? uh, so we need to be in the high performance in the pitch, but also in the offices. Otherwise, uh, we are we are not able to to compete in the in the dimension that football has has entered now. Yeah.